Hello, my name is Mira, and I'm a lorekeeper in one of the Oxabas libraries, and today I'm going to tell you the story of the Shy from Black Desert. So unlike most classes in Black Desert, Shy is actually an entire race, not just an occupation or a job or a class. Shies come from the village of Florin in Calfion, but can currently be seen in all regions of the world from Kama Silvia to Valencia and even Hasso. Shy are characterized by their large, rounded ears, their short stature, and their youthful appearance. Chief Valentine, who is 110 years old, still doesn't appear to have aged much. Though he claims his key to longevity is the use of medicinal herbs, which those shy from Florin are particularly knowledgeable and skilled with. Shies are known for their curiosity, their hastiness, and their whimsical behavior, often speaking informally and being very blunt. <laughs> They've established trade with nearby towns and cities, exporting medicinal herbs and recipes to Calfion and Olvia and beyond. Now, the story of our Shy in particular begins when Chief Valentine finds her as a baby in the woods and adopts her as his own, claiming that she was like the gift of dawn. Grew up to be just as curious as any other Shy, but she specifically was known as a bit of a trickster and caused the Chief many a headache, going as far as stealing harpy eggs from Corunda's nest. When she reached 15 years of age by the Elonian calendar, it was time for her to undergo her first rite of passage into adulthood. This test involves alchemy, and our shy specifically wanted to make cookies that would cause white leaves to sprout from your head. Yeah, I don't know either. In her search for medicinal herbs, she came across a cave which Valentine had specifically forbidden anyone to enter. But being curious as she was, she danced right on in to explore. It was here that she stumbled upon Caphrys' laboratory, and through a series of clumsy actions, broke a jar that released a black mist. This mist granted her a horrible vision of Florin burning and her loved ones screaming. In the darkness, she managed to find a glowing orb and escape the vision. But she dropped the orb when she fled the cave, the panic of the vision having dug its claws deep into her mind. From that day forward, she turned from her usual carefree and curious self to being somber and silent. The change was so drastic that the entire village began to worry about her. Nightmares kept her awake at night, and picking herbs brought no joy. Everything she enjoyed before slowly lost its draw, and she withdrew to her hut. But with time, the nightmares became less and thoughts of the glowing orb she had lost became more frequent. At the age of 30, it was time for her second coming of age ceremony. For the second coming of age ceremony, a shy must collect the most precious of treasures. For many shy, this means collecting something like incredibly rare herbs or a special Flondor goose egg. Yet for her, there was only one precious treasure she wanted to retrieve, and she thought now that perhaps she could finally gather the courage to go and enter the cave again. But when she did, the darkness found her for a second time, and this time it took her memories. When she awoke later, laying in the grass, watching birds fly overhead, and having her glowing orb attached to her belt, she could remember nothing, and skipped back to Florin, none the wiser, her new treasure in hand. That glowing orb, of course, is our Viclari Lantern. And that's it! The story of Shy from Black Desert. I hope that this video was informative in some way. Um, if you enjoyed it or learned anything new, please consider leaving a like. If you have any suggestions for future content, you can drop me a comment. And if you don't want to miss any of that future content, you can subscribe. Um, it really helps to grow the channel, and I appreciate it a lot. Thank you, as always, to those that support me through my coffee and Twitch. If you would also like to support the channel, links are in the description below. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time here in the library.